Hello again. Well, actually, that last video I sent out, it, it inspired some more questions coming in. So, uh, somebody asked, uh, what sort of uh, coffee maker machine do you use? Um, I've got a f various different types of filter coffee machines, but the one, my favourite, the one I use the most, is grandfather's old coffee percolator which I've got going now because I'll it's the percolating coffee that I like the most the most it just does the job better than anything else here it is here at work now you can see it Yeah, so as I say, I have a I have a few favourites, but that's that is probably my my most favourite machine. You know, and it's old. Russell Hobbs it served me well over the last how many god couple of decades, I guess. It's a bit dented in places, but it does the job. <laughs> Actually, as it and as it percolates, it gets darker on the top, and it starts pumping the steam through more regularly and you start getting the aroma coming out the the funnel yeah I mean I think there's various ways to make coffee um, even instant coffee you shouldn't when you make instant coffee you shouldn't allow the kettle to to boil and put boiling water onto your coffee you should well, you should let you can let the, the the kettle boil, but when you pour hot water onto coffee, even instant coffee, you should make sure it, the boiling has stopped, and it's it's it, you really don't want to over overcook coffee, even in powder format. Um, there's a number of courses you can go on. Well, now you can do it online and talk about the best ways of getting the most out of your coffee in your coffee beans. You see, it's getting darker. Um, I still haven't got rid of that bloody fly, or it's his mother, it keeps on flying around in here. Because the trouble is we have all the windows open when it's warm, so they get in anyway. So it's starting to regulate now more frequently in terms of its percolate, percolating. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. Coffee percolator. It's been. This is. God knows how old it is. It's uh, old. But it really does the job well. And of course, it will keep it hot as well in in its tray here, in its base here as well. So. You don't, you don't have to worry about it losing its, it's going cold. It stays warm. Yep, it's really percolating there. Yeah, the, so there's no doubt about it. Coffee, ma coffee making is a, is an art in every possible way. You you know when you go to some of these coffee shops that just flap around with the with frothy milk. Frothy milk is not what coffee really is all about. You know, froth, froth, <coughs> frothy milk is not the answer. Yep, it's it's now percolated. It's now done, done its job. 
my little red light has come on. So you just you you don't rush it out and they'll pour it. You 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 let it relax, let it settle down, let the let the the flavour infuse the the hot water and the in and the steam, and it just becomes a a nice fragrant drink. Now in my office, folks. And here we go. Nice, nice colour. Mm. And depending on the coffee, um, some people like a little bit of creamer with it, or milk, or a little bit of brown sugar or sweetener. Or you can just have it as it is, if it's a good coffee like a good wine. You don't want to mess around with it. Perfect. That's it. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.